Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos where I'm showing my face. Well, first one where I'm showing my face. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to organize my art stuff. Now, I don't have a dedicated space for my art. So what I'm going to do is make room for it there it's already in my living room but i'm gonna be, make like an organized area for it right now it's just stashed in in that armor right there it's one of those old um tv armoires or whatever and what i'm gonna do is add maybe one shelf in the center right there and then i'm gonna organize everything in boxes as best i can I don't have a lot, so it shouldn't be that hard to get it pretty organized. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a desk right here with more shelves above it. I think I can fit it there. That's why everything's such a mess because I was moving things around and actually it's a mess because it's, you know, after Christmas and it's just been a mess. <laughs> so. This is where I have everything right now. As you can see, it's not organized. I do organize it like constantly. The thing is I pull things out when I'm when I've got a project or I'm going to draw or whatever or make a video and I'll pull things out from the top, you know, and then I'll have to like I'll push things back. I mean, it was all like in some sort of order but then it all kind of falls over because there are no shelves so I told my mother that I wanted to organize my art room and she the next day she came back with all these boxes I don't know if you can see them there let me get my head out of the way and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I could organize everything without making shelves. I'm thinking I could take these two boxes here and kind of make shelves, you know, lay them sideways and they'll be shelves. And then if I need more, then I'll figure it out later. But I think I have enough to start with at least. So I was super excited. Like I can't tell her anything because the next day she'll just come back with whatever I asked for she can't really it's, it's just like she can't hold on to a dollar because of that because anything we ask for she'll just go get it I can't make any comments to her about anything so that's it right now so yeah when I take stuff out it just all ends up getting cluttered again and a big old mess so what I'm going to do right now is actually start taking everything out of it and seeing how I can arrange things. I might have to really put a shelf there, but if I could just make everything work with these boxes, that'll be great. Because I don't really see any other use for those boxes other than using them as shelves. They're kind of big. Unless I could use them to put, like, store things that I rarely use up there. That might work too. Let's get started. I keep looking over here because I have a habit of looking at the record button on my phone, which is like right there. <laughs> so I've got to like put a little red dot or something right here. <laughs> okay. out I had to actually film this video in a couple days because that first day I lost my light and then we've had like super rainy days and um so yeah I I just stopped working on it anyway and um kind of just kept planning what I was gonna do but it's all empty now except I have the bottom with stuff in it still and I have this stuff in here, which are just some tiles that are not sealed yet that I did with alcohol inks. And I don't know, 
I want to seal those before I move them from there. I don't even know if I'm going to keep them or not, but um, my living room's a mess now. It, it was a lot more stuff than I thought it was. There's that stuff right there. Everything's a, like a huge mess. I have laptop and all that stuff on top of my little table along with dirty dishes from just now from breakfast and I've got stuff over there I've got stuff over there it's just it's everywhere so I think uh organizing all this stuff and kind of figuring out where it's gonna go it's gonna be uh challenging I'm not sure where to start don't know what to do Okay, so the first thing I figured we would do is lay all our boxes out in the tables to see what we had to work with. I also brought out all my supplies and set them up either on the table or around the tables. Um, I say tables because there's another table next to this that we are also using to set stuff up on. And here I am putting the alcohol inks in this yellow tin. I was hoping to fit them all in there, but it didn't work out that great. I couldn't get my other bottles, which are a little taller, in there. So I went ahead and moved them over to the box. And that fit really nicely. And they ended up in this little wooden box, which is where I had them in the first place. And they fit perfectly in there, and they're easy to see, and I could just bring them all out at once and have them next to me while I'm working with them. So that worked out perfectly. All my other ink supplies, uh, like my empty bottles and my air pump straws, uh, sponges and stuff like that, I put in this one box. Here are my wire wrapping my wire, wire wrap stones, I just kind of left those in this box, but I would like to find something different, maybe a wooden box that's, you know, where air can circulate in the future because they get a, like a certain weird smell to them, especially with the copper. Okay, here are some of my stones, which I went through really quickly. This is actually really cool, one of my favorite stones. It is a hydro quartz, and as you can see, there is water in there. That little stone moving up and down, that little water channel is a uh, black tourmaline. So that water is millions, millions of years old. If not billions, I can't remember now. So I had those in that Rocher uh, box, which worked perfectly for that. Those are my watercolor supplies. I put all of those in this book box, which worked out perfectly because it's wide. I could see everything, so I could also fit my palettes in there. I just had to like uh, patch it up because this box was used to contain wires before. My pencils and pens I pretty much left in the two plastic boxes I've always had them in. I just had to kind of like um, reorganize them. They were a little messy and most of my pens were actually in my color pencil case. So here are my acrylics, which I don't have a lot of. I just use them for crafts mostly. Just random little erasers, clips, sharpener, one sharpener. <laughs> My knitting stuff, well, the knitting stuff I'm currently using. Stamp supplies. These I use mostly for my labels for my jewelry. Um, I fit them all into this yellow tin. I didn't really know what to put in these black plastic bins, so I filled them with random stuff, which I could also not really figure out how to organize, because it was just like just like um one or two of each thing, like the tape, erasers, that kind of thing. Uh, 
These are my glues, like Mod Podge, stuff like that. I left my, um, my markers in that box because they're not going to go there. They're going to go on top of my desk when I get that set up. And here is how I set everything up inside the, the armor. It all fit very nicely. I was so excited to see that my book box fit perfectly on top of that white crate. And my watercolors also, I mean my color pencils also fit nicely in there on the side of those boxes. Okay, so um, I guess I'll start from above. Above, I have uh, those Blick boxes. They are two uh, clay panels, clay board panels. One is used, one's empty. I'm not really sure what to do with them because I don't like the way that looks, but I don't want them to get messed up. So they're there for now until I figure out something else. I also have some porcelain plates for my watercolor palettes and some uh, blank canvases up there. Down here, I've got uh, just some rolls of paper, the ones I put down to do my art videos. I'm not sure if I'm still gonna be using those. I might, it depends on how I end up finishing the top of my desk, which I'm not sure about right now. And then I've got this piece of alcohol ink art and then that's actually uh it's actually like one of those cheap vinyl canvases i think uh oh that wasn't good i don't know it feels yeah it might be real canvas i don't know but anyway uh, my mom brought me that for my sisters because she was going to throw it away and my roll of paper just got messed up that's the one I use down there anyway. And then there's a random tile on the floor that I was just using to practice with the alcohol inks. The smoky look. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so, and on this side I just have my camera bag. Some stuff I'm gonna be using on my desk. And I think my camera bag is pretty much gonna stay there I'd like to get a little desk up here, like a little corner table to put it up high and not have it down on the floor. But for now, that's where it's gonna be. And I like having it handy because when I see birds <laughs> outside, I will take it and still try to photograph birds with my 85 millimeter lens, which is not anywhere close enough, but I still try. Hopefully one day a bird will get close enough where, I'll get, where I will get a really good clear image of it. Okay, so in the bottom, not much changed. I still have all my homeschool stuff right here and manipulatives, like math manipulatives and stuff. This is just uh, microscopy stuff, like Petri dishes, uh, slides and stuff like that. Up here, I have all my sewing stuff, just like some random stuff in here. I didn't really know what to do with this, so I just put some stuff in there, but I have my threads, needles, etc. Down here, I have my uh, wire wrapping, like jewelry wrapping stuff. Uh, the top box is my wires, all my copper, silver wires, and then the bottom box actually has some jewelry and some stones in it and that type of thing okay um so that's it for down here okay up here is the main area ta-ta <laughs> on the doors i hung this that my mother got for me and i just open some little holes in it and put some wires to hang it with a screw. This side actually looks much nicer than that side. I don't know what I was trying to do over there, but I still use that same piece of wire. <laughs> and here I put all my brushes and 
I'm gonna put like pens over here, like just regular writing pens, like these. Not my good art pens or anything, but this is a fountain pen right here. Okay. And on this side, I have my arm thing that I use to record my videos with my phone. And my mother had a very, really good idea to make this, right? So it just pulls right out. And all I used was one of those vitamin containers, like the large vitamin containers I had. The only issue is that I, when I was putting this in there, I screwed it into the, the door and it kind of cracked the door. So that sucks. I wish I would have done Velcro because I did have a piece of Velcro, but I didn't think to do that. So, but I love it because this just drops right in there. Isn't that awesome? And it closes up nicely. It doesn't bang against anything. Okay, so up top here, I have my knitting stuff on my yarn. Behind it, I put those you see those those indigo dyes because I didn't like how they looked up here at the front here I have some parchment paper some vinyl this is some matte vinyl paper and I was thinking of actually using this for the top of my desk that way it wouldn't reflect light and I could just use it as a background but I'm not sure I might just make a large like masonite board for that and just do my regular finish on my desk I'm not sure yet back there I have all my you know harsh chemicals dangerous stuff all the way in the back as high as I could get them hidden out of sight because I do have little nieces and nephews and I'm sure if they saw like bottles like way back they would try to reach them so I put stuff in front of them so they're like out of sight and then in here I put all my glues and the Mod Podge and stuff like that. These are two empty boxes my mom got me. What I'm gonna do is just paint them. Over here I have all my watercolor supplies. Okay, over here I have just like an old calligraphy set that they give out in schools in like China that my friend brought back for me. And then I have um some tools for my jewelry stuff i'm not sure if those are going to stay here yet but i do use those for other things so i think they will stay there i want them to be handy maybe not like right there but up here in this section i'll have them here are my pens up here and then down here i have my pencils and like pencil erasers and stuff like that here are all my stones well not all my stones but a lot of my my stones that i collect my crystals oh, okay um over here i just put random stuff that i don't have enough of to you know like for for it to have a dedicated space most of the stuff in here is like tape staples um matches <laughs> white out some glitter and then over here i've got some rubber band stapler and a bunch of little rulers oh no the rulers are down here but these are safety goggles that i use for projects um ruler big paintbrush i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make like an area to hang some some stuff here like some larger paint brushes and also to put my brushes like down when they're wet i was thinking of doing it here but i'd really i think i just want to have this clear and then maybe put a bar here i don't know i have a really cool magnetic strip and i was thinking i could use that over here to hang my brushes on but then i tried my brushes on magnets and most most of them are not magnetic so that kind of sucks okay so here are some of my color pencils and i want to get another one of these cases or two of them maybe and get all my water uh, all my color pencils out of the original box and just put them in here 
this is like those like little um, paper clips and stuff rubber bands some erasers and this is probably going to go on top of my desk unless I take those things out and just put them in the drawer of my desk or somewhere else this is an empty one not sure what I'm going to use that for yet these two are empty and this one down here has what did I put in there I need to put labels on these for sure but I put, um, okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's my stamp stuff. <laughs> I've got some stamp stuff, mostly stuff for my labels that I make uh, for my jewelry. Okay. And these are just empty. Um, little thing of tiny color uh, pencils that I found. I already have my video planned out for that. And then um, over here I have just cotton balls and wrapping stuff, stuff that's very light. I put up here. And then on this next one down I have acrylics. Um, I don't really use acrylics except for like uh, like projects, you know, like crafts, making Christmas ornaments, stuff like that. Most of these are fabric acrylics and they're all brand new because it was for a project and I have not done it yet or maybe won't do it. Uh, here are my alcohol inks. Actually, I put all my inks in there, but I think I'm going to separate the ones that aren't alcohol inks that I might use more often. But all my ink bottles are here and then my ink supplies like the little pump I blow air around with when I do it like on non-porous surfaces that's in here and empty bottles and stuff like that. Over here, this is my Prismacolor uh, color pencil box and those are the ones that I'd like to get a couple more of these for. Over here... That's just a human anatomy book that I bought because I thought it would help me draw like proportions and stuff, but that book is like intense. It's too deep for me, <laughs> too in depth. Um, it has so much information like down to the muscles, the nerves. I mean, just like, I just wanted like some lines. <laughs> but, I mean, it's good and it's interesting and my son likes it, so. Um, here is my drawing board, um, my light box, and just a pad, a clipboard, and back here is one of those old, old bamboo tablets that I've had forever. That's everything right there. Okay, so down here, I've got my paper. Anything that's paper is over here. I didn't put it in any sort of order. I just did like, um, like size from largest all the way down to the nine by 12s, which like everything is nine by 12, except for my 10 by 14. And I don't remember what size this is. I think it's 12 by 16 pad or something like that. I'm not sure. Then I also have just cardstock, some pads, and like mixed media, watercolor, the toned paper, and just my art journal, which I have a lot of stuff here that I had for Inktober, but I never, never did them. Um, never made those videos okay and here I've just got like random paper in my road atlas which should actually be in my car <laughs> but I need to make sure I put it in there I like looking through it sometimes though okay and down here beneath this there's this little area and I've got some tiles in there still and I think that's a nice little area for drawing for uh, storing like wet artwork because 
there's not much of a chance that anything will touch it. So there it is. I'm super excited about this. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I feel so much better that I have like easy access to everything. All the stuff I rarely use is like up top and in the back and then um, the stuff I'll mostly use is like really accessible which is my watercolor, my color pencils, pens, charcoal pencils, that type of thing. So there you go guys. I'm so sorry for the before blurry pictures. I did not take, think to take photos of the before. But I hope you like my video, and if you do like it and want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time when I, I organize my desk area. See you guys next time. Bye!